Um, I was born in Greece, so we are a maritime dominant nation and shipping is very important to our economy but also part of our culture and our tradition. And since I was young I was very fascinated by ships, by the construction, operations, uh, the fact that they bear all the different weather conditions. Uh, and uh, when I graduated as a naval architect and marine engineer uh, from the National Technical University of Athens, at this point the discussion on sustainable maritime transport has still been in its infancy. So I thought that pursuing a research project which has to be innovative. Uh, would be a promising idea, particularly research on climate change policies and how they can shape the change trade and shipping. I moved to Denmark and I joined the Technical University of Denmark to do my PhD on market-based measures for sustainable shipping. And particularly for this study today, uh, the research motivation has been the imminent inclusion of shipping into the European Union emissions trading system, which will have important ramifications to ships uh, that operate in the European Economic Area Zone. So regulating international global rich sectors such as shipping into regional rules can pose some threats such as evasion risks. And uh, our study was based on the initial European Commission's proposal that uh, had the specifics of the inclusion of shipping into the UTS and examined what will be the carbon price turning point that would make a relocation of a transshipment hub cost effective. So after this paper had been published, we actually uh, saw that amendments on the European Commission's proposal coming from the European Parliament and Council addressed exactly that risk, the risk of the localization of transshipment activities outside the ports of the Union. And these amendments include a 300 nautical mile area around the EA ports that should be part of the directive. And interestingly, our own study examined ports within this 300 nautical mile proxy range. And uh, like two weeks ago also ESPO, the European Seaports Organization, called for action against evasive port calls um, to, to, because of the inclusion of shipping into the UTS. I am really grateful to ITF for awarding my research with this very prestigious prize. I am sure that it will bring a lot of recognition to the work that we are doing on decarbonizing maritime transport and also it will increase visibility so that we are able to outreach a broader audience also beyond academia. I think the links are imperative because research can help shape informed policy making and also for us researchers, policies provide the necessary framework to guide and support our research. And uh, I think it's, it's, a great, it's, a, it's very important to be interlinked and to always go hand by hand.